My name is Nur Izati Binti Kamaruddin. My metric number is 203879. Hi, my name is Kaushla Sanmugam. My metric number is 203880. Hi, my name is Jacintia Jonis and my metric number is 201292. Hi everyone, my name is Nurul Amira bin Mahathir. My metric number is 200228. Hi, and my name is Noor Nabila bin Azmin. My metric number is 203878. The focus that were given to us today was genetically modified food is completely safe for consumption. Genetically modified foods are food that are produced from organisms that has changes introduced to the DNA gene traits using a method called gen genetic engineering. As in our country, Malaysia, we have approved some GM products such as maize, soybean, papaya, and many more. In my point of view, I disagree that GM foods are safe to consume. I believe that genetically modified food may cause harm to ourselves. The reason why I'm saying this is that according to the Harvard University, an anti-GMO research group conducted a research where it is reported that rats that were fed with a diet of GMO potato had the organs affected badly. The institute then stated that toxicity of the result of the genetic modification text techniques. Mutations in DNAs are also closely tied to cancer diseases, thus mutagenic substances have a big impact on human body. Potential health risks for humans include possibilities of exposure to new allergens in genetically modified foods. There are small chances that the genes in food can transfer to cells of the body or bacteria in the gut. Some GMO plants also contain genes that make resistant to certain antibiotics. This resistance could pass on to humans too. There is a grow, growing resistance to antibiotics. When they are resistant to antibiotics, the bacteria will be hard to kill, which may lead to dangerous effects. What is your point of view with this statement, Kaushalya? I'm sorry, Nabila, but I have to disagree to your statement. I believe that genetically modified food are perfectly safe for eating. This is because there aren't any scientific uh, specific evidence proving that it is unsafe. Some people believe that uh, the spike is linked to genetically modified food. However, an analysis of data by the National Academics of Sciences, Engineering and Medicine found that patterns of change in cancer rate in the United States are similar to the Europe and UK, where people eat less GMO food. Cancer rates are not connected with eating GMO. According to a study from Harvard University, there is no proof that genetically modified food in general are more likely to trigger allergic reactions than non-GM food. When a new gene is introduced into a plant's genome, a new protein results when eaten if it is foreign to a person's normal diet. Sorry to interrupt, Kosha, but can you explain further about allergic reactions? Sure. Most allergens are proteins and food allergic reactions are caused by allergens from peanuts, milk, eggs, wheat and soy. But if a person is allergic to conventional soy, she or he will be also allergic to GM soy as it is not different in compositionally. In addition, GM food do not always contain a new protein. For example, when some new genes are suppressed or a protein is removed. So there is nothing inherently different about food from GMO crops than food from conventional crops. The remaining cases of food allergies are often due to other dietary difficulties such as lactose intolerance, that is an enzyme deficiency rather an allergy. How about you, Izati? Yes, you are right, Kausha. I agree with what you are saying. In my opinion, I believe GMO food is safe for consumption. For example, a single tomato.
tomato has been genetically modified contain the same amount of genistein that can be found in soybeans and also it equals as 2.5 kg of tofu. This new tomato could be a way to produce this nutrient compared to them to help. But foods can contribute to development of cancer. They argue that because the disease is caused by mutation in DNA, it is dangerous to introduce new genes in the body. However, the American Cancer Society, ACS, have said that they Oh, no effects on human has been shown as the result of consumption. Countries at GM food is perfectly safe for consumption. How about you, Amira? You got a point that is Ati, but sorry, I beg to differ. In my opinion, I disagree that the GM food is perfectly safe for the consumption. Actually, I, I have a same talk with Nabila. She said just now that we were result that there were result of toxicity in the genetic modification technique, according to the Harvard University of Anti GMO Research. From that point, I do believe that we as consumers need to have knowledge on how actually the GM GM can give many harm to the health. People may not people may not may, may not recognize the health problem because this issue is being underestimated, maybe. Because the cases are not as many as other health problems. But believe me, that prevention is better than cure. For example, the GM maize, which has the potential to cause harm on pancreas, liver, and intestine. This maize produces Bt toxin, which is bacterial toxin, to kill pests and has ability to induce histopathological lesion in liver and kidney. As we all know, that skin is very important organ to our body to filter out the substance. So, I want to justify my stand again that I disagree that GM food are safe for consumer because of the health issue. How about you, Jess? I'm not sure. I agree with you, Amira. In my opinion, GM food is perfectly safe for consumption. This is because different GM organisms include different genes inserted in different ways. This means that individual GM foods and their safety should be assisted on a case-by-case -case basis and that it is not possible to make general statement on the safety of all GM foods. GM foods currently available on the international market, safety assessment and are not likely to present. I don't quite get your point. Sure, Amira. Um, according to National Academy of Science, genetically and environmental impact and a safe to eat as the they have no adverse environmental impact and they have reduced the use of pesticide. In addition, no effect on human health have been shown as a result of the consumption of such foods by the general population in the countries where they have been approved. Besides, continuous application of safety assessment principle where appropriate post-market monitoring should form the basis for ensuring the safety of GM foods. This principle is a collection of the international phenomena and aim at protecting consumers' health and ensuring fair practices in the food. This principle includes standard of standard for all the principal foods, whether it process or is semi-processed for distribution to the consumer. Codex Elementaris includes provision in respect of food hygiene, food addictive, pesticide residue, contaminant labeling and pre presentation method of analysis and sampling. So, GMOs have been 
have heavily studied and new GM crops must go through an evaluation and approval process through the FDA, which is the Food and Drug Administration. If the FDA doesn't determine they are safe, they won't go to the market. Thus, I believe that GM food is perfectly safe for consumption. Now, can you get what I mean? Yes, uh, Jess, thank you for the explanation. I get it. Now to think about it, I think I agree with the focus stating that the GM foods are safe to consume. As what said by Izati, GM foods contain desirable traits, which also means that these GM foods are more resistant to pesticides. When the product has the traits of pesticide resistant, then we can surely say that the food contain less pesticide can cause short-term health effects called acute effects as well as chronic health effects. Examples of health effects are rashes, blindness, stinging eyes, diarrhea and also death. What is your point of view now, Amira? That's a good point of view, Nabila. For me, based on what they had said about the safety of GM food on the international market, to be secure with it. I agree with her. According to the World Health Organization, WHO, which is a specialized agency for the United Nations that is concerned with international public health, they has been taking an active role in relation to GM food, primarily for two reasons. Firstly, they will make sure that public health will benefit from the potential of biotechnology. For example, from an increase in the nutrient content of foods, decrease allergen allergenicity, and make it more efficient. And also for sustainable food production. Secondly, they always need to do inspection of the, on the potential effects on human health of the consumption of food produced through genetic modi modi modification in order to protect public health. Modern technology should be evaluated if they want to constitute a true improvement in the way to produce food. So, if the international public health has approved widely about it, I think that we also have to have faith in safety of GM food. Thus, I want to indicate my stand that I agree with gen genetically modified food is completely safe for the consumption. How about you, Kausha? I want to point out that genetic modification has the potential to actually help those with food allergies. Scientists developing GMO run tests to make sure allergens aren't transferred from one food to another. For example, scientists are looking for ways to turn off the protein that causes peanut allergy to create a non-allergic peanut. Just the fact that a crop has been genetically modified does not make it more allergenic than it was to begin with. Does anyone have anything to say? May I add some? As I mentioned, we get the nutrient from GMO food safely rather than obtain the nutrient through chemically synthesis such as consume a supplement. Now, today, people love to take a supplement as an alternative way to get nutrients. However, according to Dr. Clifford Law and Prof. Public Health, new from food. This is because when you eat real food, you are not consuming single nutrients, but rather a whole range of vitamins, minerals, cofactor, and enzymes that allow for optimal use by the body. So, eat fresh GMO foods is a way to obtain more nutrition and in the same time, it is safe. Hence, I strongly agree that how about you, Jess? Do you have something to add? Yeah, I agree completely with you guys. May I add something here? Yes. Since, since the first commercialization of GM prod, produced 18 years ago, there has been no evidence of ill effect linked to the consumption of any approved GM crop. 
before any food produced using GM technology is permitted onto the market, mar market a variety of tests has have been have to be completed, and the results from these tests, including the tests from animal feeding trials are considered by the authorities responsible for determining the safety of each new GM product. This, may, this makes the new GM crops varieties at least as safe to eat as new non-GM varieties, which are not tested in this way. There have been a few studies Claiming damage to human or animal health from specific foods that have been developed using GM. However, the claims were not about the GM method itself, but about the specific gene introduced into the crop or agricultural practices associated with the crop, such as the herbicide treatment, the statistical and analysis and methodology of these studies have been challenged and all the reliable evidence produced to date shows that current available GM food is at least as safe to eat as the non-GM food. As Robert Hollingworth, a professor emeritus of the McAllen State University, Department of the and Entomology and Institute for Integrative Tox Toxicology said no food GM or non-GM is absolutely safe. However, it is very close to the universal conclusion of every expert who has evaluated it that the GM crops we have at the moment are as safe to consume as the standard crop that have been consuming for years. Does anyone want to add their point before we conclude our decision discussion? Sorry, I agree with I all so. of you. Yes, they all. That's all from us. Okay, so after we review what we have decided today, all of us are strongly believe that GMOs are safe for our consumption based on what we have discussed during our discussion today. Uh, that's all for our discussion. Thank you for your cooperation. Thank you.